what's up friends welcome back to your tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how to add admin to your tiktok account now before i go any further guys i just want to mention to you that there is no direct feature within tiktok that allows you to do this but instead there is a workaround that you can take and the first important thing to know is that in order to proceed with this work and to proceed with this workaround what you want to do is to ensure that you have or create a TikTok account with credentials that you're feeling free to share with that person who will be the admin for your TikTok account. So I wouldn't recommend that you use this for your personal account unless you really don't mind. However, if you have a TikTok account with credentials that you're fine with sharing with that user, then this is how you can basically provide those credential to the users so you provide those credentials to the users they will have it on their device and they'll be able to manage or to do stuff as an admin with a tiktok account i also want to share with you that you can boost this up by adding extra security to that tiktok account and how do you do that so once you're on tiktok ensure that you click your profile on the lower right hand side and on the upper right hand side click the three lines and go to your security and privacy from here, you can go to security and permissions, and I would recommend that you set up, for example, the two-step verification. So as you can see right now, mine is currently off. I can tap on that, and you can choose how you want to do it. I recommend that you use, for example, the Authenticator app, and this is going to basically allow you to share a code once someone logged in. So you kind of still have the control to choose whether or not the person actually logs into tiktok so having the password and the username does not mean that they will log in the two the two-step verification means that you will actually have control over that last access to ensure that they log in so if you're providing the credential and you're using the authenticator app set up or you're using your phone number that they, you'll receive an sms then you can feel free to share that that code with that person and it's like you giving them the final say and confirming that yes they can log in so i recommend that you enable two-step verification and set up one of the methods that you want to use and you want and you can have control over that final login each time they will log in as an admin and that's what i want to recommend to you guys it's very easy and very simple as i said there's no direct way but there is always a workaround and this is a workaround that i found best it works for me and I just want to share that with you. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.